hi everyone welcome back so today's video is going to be a little bit different than all of my other videos today i'm going to be showing you my nordstrom anniversary sale wish list so i've never shopped the nordstrom anniversary sale before but i heard that they have a lot of great deals on so many different brands and i'm just really excited to show you everything that i added to my wish list everything on my wish list is under a hundred dollars so I'm talking about clothes, I'm talking about shoes, sunglasses, accessories, outerwear, all of the above. See, I'm just really excited to show you what I got, so let's get to it. Okay, so like I said, I've never shopped the Nordstrom anniversary sale before, but I heard that there's so many great deals, so that's when I decided to go onto the website and see what they actually have. So many goodies. I decided to keep everything under $100 each just because I know a lot of us don't want to spend too much money, i.e. me. <laughs> I kept everything under $100 and I also added a lot of fall goodies to my cart too, which I'm really, really excited about. So if I am looking down, then I'm just looking at my laptop to see everything that I have on my wish list. It looks like it started on August 4th but that's only for specific card holders it looks like each level of card holder or non-card holder has a different status and different availability for when they're able to shop the sale so since i am not a nordstrom card holder then i am the last on the list and i can't shop until august 19th it looks like icon card members got to start shopping august 4th ambassadors on august 7th influencers on august 10th insiders august 13th and the rest of us on august 19th <laughs> okay so i just have so many things on my list let me just jump right into it okay so i'm just gonna start off with the dresses that i got i got a few different dresses that are perfect for the fall these are two bodycon midi dresses that i really really liked because i feel like they're just such simple pieces one is long sleeve one is short sleeve i added these two to my wish list because i feel like they're so simple and they just go with everything and that's perfect for the fall so either of these dresses i definitely would wear with like a pair of white sneakers or a pair of booties and a leather jacket on top and the outfit is perfect and good to go this is perfect for like the very beginning of fall when it's not too cold but it's not it's not summertime weather and it's not really really hot these are good transition type of dresses and they're both under a hundred dollars the gray one is actually one of my favorites and i really like the fact that what i like about the black one is that it is midi but it does also have the side slit so you can definitely wear this dress to go out somewhere and just be really comfortable when you're going out the next dress that i added to my wish list is this animal print dress i added it because i feel like it's the perfect dress for those of you who are actually going into work or going into the office this fall i know that not everybody is going back into work but i also realized that some people have been called to go back so if you are part of that group then this dress is perfect for you it's the perfect type of fall dress when you kind of just want to make a slight statement especially if you're going into work if i were to wear this dress to go to work or to go anywhere to be honest it doesn't even have to be specifically for work i would take a black belt with like a gold buckle and just slap that right on so it can accentuate the waist a little bit more the last dress that i added to my wish list i am in love with something that you're going to notice throughout my entire wish list is that a lot of these things are leather or faux leather because i don't really like true leather um and this is the first thing that i saw when i was previewing the sale and it's one of my favorites so it's this faux leather black dress i love this so much i've always wanted like a leather or faux leather dress for the fall i just feel like they are so pretty i like that this dress is long sleeve i like that it has pockets i like that it's buttoned down and it has a collar so it's a little bit more dressy i just feel like this dress is so nice imagine wearing this with like gold jewelry and the fact that it's 49.90 for top shop i think is a is a pretty good price i actually have a faux leather skirt from Topshop that I got years and years and years ago that I still wear to this day because the quality for Topshop when it comes to items like this is really really good and it will last you a long time I mean that skirt I know I'm still gonna be able to wear for at least a few more years to come next I'm just gonna get into tops so this first top I added is this beautiful brown top that actually reminds me so much of the cream colored top that I got from Aritzia that I showed you guys in my last video but just in a different color and the style is a little bit different 
moment. I really like the sleeves on this top, you guys. If you've been following me for a little while, then you know that I love sleeves like these. So that was one of the main reasons why I added this top to my wish list to begin with. I love the fact that it comes down into a V and that it's a little bit slimmer at the waist. The next tops that I'm going to be getting into are everybody's favorite for the fall, chunky sweaters. I am just in love with chunky sweaters. So when I saw all of these on the preview, I was just like... Oh my god, I need these. So the first one that I actually added to my wish list is this Top Shop Gray Cable Knit Sweater. The color is beautiful. I really love all sorts of tones of grays. When it comes to chunky sweaters, the more oversized it is, the better in my opinion. The sleeves, so nice and so big and it just looks like the most comfiest, coziest sweater. Anything that reminds me of just hanging out at home, sipping on my hot chocolate and watching Hocus Pocus, I'm just in love with. And this sweater reminds me exactly of those times. And so does the next sweater that I actually added to my wish list. This one is also a chunky sweater. It is this orange chunky sweater with a mock neck. I really like the mock neck and I really love the shade of orange. I feel like it's the perfect orange for fall. It's $69.90 and I feel like for free people this is actually a pretty good price because free people can be pretty pricey so I think it's a pretty good price for that. Yeah I really like this sweater and the last gray sweater because they are just such nice oversized sweaters. So I also added a couple of blazers to my wish list because I feel like I don't have enough blazers and they actually have a couple of cute ones so I actually added these two blazers. They are kind of similar but they are they're different. They're similar but different, if that makes any sense. The print is a little bit different, but the silhouette is kind of similar. One is $49.90 and the other one is $65.90. And they're both plaid and oversized with pockets. I think that the colors are really nice. I think that the prints are really nice. And to be honest, I feel like everyone should have at least one or two blazers in their wardrobe. I have two solid colored blazers, but I think that adding another printed one, especially for the fall, is a really good thing to have on hand. Just for those days when you wanna dress up a little bit, you don't really wanna think about the outfit that you're putting together, you just wanna simplify your life and just throw that blazer on. So talking about statement blazers, I also added this faux leather black blazer from Topshop to my wish list. I really love the look of this. I feel like it's just such a different style of blazer. I don't see too many like leather blazers out there. I see a lot of like other types of leather pieces but i feel like this is a really really good way to kind of just spice up your outfit without standing out too much with different prints and different colors this is kind of like a subtle way to look a little bit more stylish and more put together and for 49.90 i feel like it's such a good price especially like i said earlier top shop does a really good job with their faux leather pieces and this is going to last you a really long time and to be honest all of these leather pieces they will be in your wardrobe for a really long time because they're not like those random trendy pieces i feel like leather is forever the second faux leather top that i added to my wish list is this one from treasure and bond it's 58.90 and it is just so pretty you guys i like the fact that this one is a button down and it has a collar and the sleeves are long i also really like the fact that it looks like it's a little bit oversized or a little bit long because i know that if i were to get this top i would kind of make it like an all leather look so i would pair this faux leather top with the faux leather skirt that I got from Topshop that I was just talking about not too long ago and then just wear a pair of booties and be out the door. I added two pair of jeans. They're both a pretty much similar style to each other. Just one is a dark wash and the other one is a blue denim. The reason why I added these two jeans to my wish list is because I'm really into this style of denim. I like that it comes up to your ankle, that it's a little bit looser and that it has a rip at the knee. I just feel like they look like they're really comfortable jeans for you to wear and they're not just sticking to you like skinny jeans are all the time sometimes I want to take a break from skinny jeans so these look like the perfect alternative and in my personal experience Levi's and Topshop both have great quality denim so you can't go wrong with either one of these staying on bottoms I also added this pair of faux suede leggings I think that they're just very pretty and I think that they come in two different colors I've had faux suede pants in the past and in my personal experience they are actually pretty warm so I'm hoping that these are pretty warm too so that you can wear them from the fall into the winter time and still be very comfortable the only pair of shorts that i added were these top shop faux leather shorts i told you guys i am obsessed with these top shop faux leather pieces which is why i added so many to my wish list you guys probably think i'm crazy but 
trust me there is a reason why i have a pair of faux leather shorts in my closet i feel like these are something that you can wear literally all year round i wear mine in the summertime i wear it in the fall i wear it in the winter depending on what i'm doing you guys i'm literally recording this on august 4th and i had a pair of nike sweatpants that i added to my wish list and it's sold out already like are you freaking kidding me by the time august 19th comes i there's gonna be nothing left all right so let's just continue into outerwear i have this denim jacket from madewell on my wish list it's 79.90 i believe and i added this because i know madewell has a lot of really great quality items and so many people that i know rave about them even though i've never bought anything from madewell myself um, but I think that everybody needs a good denim jacket. I really love oversized denim jackets and a denim jacket is basically something that you need in your closet because it is a staple It never goes out of style and you will have it for years and years and years to come. Another staple that you need in your closet is a leather jacket and that's why I added this faux leather jacket from Blanc New York to my wish list. Like I said, this is just something that's never going to go out of style and you'll be able to wear for so long. Nordstrom actually has a lot of really great great looking great quality leather jackets on their website but a lot of them are over a hundred dollars even with the sale so that's why i added this one because this one specifically is 56.90 and i feel like that's a really good deal for a full leather jacket okay so the next two jackets that i have on my wish list are personally two of my favorite items that i have on my wish list and you're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them but you just have to be that type of person and just hear me out when I'm saying you guys really need to try statement pieces. And even if that statement piece is your jacket, go for it. So that's why I added these two to my wish list because they are the statement piece that you need in the fall. So I added these two trench coats. Oh my God. Okay, so I was obsessed with the both of them when I saw them because they kind of give me like old school vibes and I'm feeling very nostalgic nowadays. I added the snake print one because it's just such a statement piece. I love snake print. The fact that the whole jacket is in a snake print and it's in a brownish color which is perfect for the fall it's a trench coat and it's but it's not like one of those basic trench coats that you get that are like a neutral color i have one of those and it's like that's boring everybody has that this is something that you're really going to stand out with and i know a lot of people like to accessorize with their outerwear in the fall and in the winter time and i feel like this is the perfect way to do it but if you don't like snake print and you don't like any crazy prints and you don't want to stand out too much but you do want to spice it up a little bit then that's why i added this plain trench coat to my wish list because i think that this is a great alternative to the snake print they're both very different and this literally just makes the outfit you can wear either of these with like all black underneath and then just throw on a pair of booties and that's it that's your outfit you don't have to take the jacket off I also added this faux fur teddy coat to my wish list because I feel like this is a trend that kind of just keeps coming back and everybody is always in love with. Every time I see somebody wearing a teddy coat, I want one. But everybody has the black ones or like the white cream colored one. You're not getting the same one that everybody else has. I really like the rustic orange tones that this coat has. It looks like it's a good length, so it looks like it'll definitely keep you warm in the cold weather. So that's why I added this one. Okay, so let me get into shoes. The first pair of shoes that I added to my wish list are actually a pair of slippers from Uggs, and they're $59.90. Uggs are just super, super super comfortable and I've always wanted a pair of slippers which is being around the house and the fact that these are under $60 or just around $60 is a really good deal for Ugg because everybody knows that Uggs can be really really pricey so I think this is a great deal for that and you're definitely going to be able to keep these Ugg slippers for a really long time. I still have my Uggs from high school so I know that these are going to last a long time. I also added these two loafers. I love this style of shoe. I have a couple of pairs of myself and they're just so comfortable to wear. I added this nude pair for the people who like to be a little bit more simple and a little bit more toned down. But if you don't want to be as simple, then the alternative is this pair in lizard print. I really, really like the prints. I feel like it's different. It's not snake print. It's not cheetah print. It's a different print than I usually see in shoes like these. I think the color is a gorgeous color for the fall and I like that it has this little chain that goes across your foot. I think this shoe is a good subtle shoe that still 
still is able to stand out. Now, if you really want to go all out with the print and you love snakes print as much as I do, then you can go for these snake print flats. They are so cute. And I feel like you can wear these with so many different outfits. You can wear them obviously with all black. You can wear them with like a white t-shirt or tank top, a pair of jeans and a nice chunky oversized cardigan over it and then just throw these on and it's just such a cute look. Now on to everybody's favorite for the fall, booties. So I added these two booties. They are pretty similar but the material is different. I'm a big fan of pointy toed booties. I just think they're so nice. I feel like the shape of the heel is just different from regular booties that you see every day. I really really like the leather ones but I like the fabric ones as well because they're good for the days when you want your boots to just be a little bit more matte and not as shiny as the leather ones. I also added this pair of over the knee black boots this is another staple that you need in your closet because i've seen the over the knee boots just coming back every single year i like the fact that the heel is really really low because that just makes it easier for you to wear on a day-to-day -day basis the last pair of boots you guys if you want that statement boot get these it's this snake print jessica simpson boot oh my god you guys i have seen so many people with boots that look just like this just a snake print tall boot and i'm just like oh my god i really really want to pair it year after year but i just never get it for myself they are literally the easiest way to make your outfit look so gorgeous the color is beautiful the size of the heel is really nice the fact that it's pointy toe and a heel it just elongates your legs and overall it's just such a gorgeous boot okay so let's get into accessories and the first thing that i'm going to be talking about are sunglasses i love sunglasses i love wearing them all the time so the first ones that i actually found are these alexander mcqueen sunglasses they are around 91.90 and i so love these i love the shape of them the color is really really nice i normally go for glasses that have this specific shape just because i feel like i feel a little bit more fierce they make me feel a little bit more confident so that's what drew me to these sunglasses i also found a pair of just oversized cat eye sunglasses from key these are going to be 35.90 and they were originally 55 dollars. if you're a fan of key australia just like me i have so many different pairs and then you know that they go for 55 60 65 dollars so the fact that these are 35 is a pretty good deal these next sunglasses are 99.90 so they are literally 10 cents under 100 dollars but I decided that I wanted to add these to my wish list anyway because I know so many people are in love with this style of sunglasses and I personally know that Ray-Bans is a really good brand of sunglasses. They definitely go for over $100 so the fact that these are $99.90 I think it's a really good deal. So the last of the accessories that I have on my wish list, oh my god you guys. It's so beautiful. It's this brown hat, oh my God. So I don't wear hats unless I really, really need to, like it's really cold and snowing outside, but normally I don't wear any hats, but this really makes me want to get into hats. It's such a gorgeous hat. I love the brown tone. I love the snake print trimming. It's just so gorgeous and it's so different. So yeah, you guys, that's everything on my wish list. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. I wish I could buy everything. Like I said, I've never shopped the Nordstrom anniversary sale before, but now I know why people go crazy over it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like anything in my video. I'd love to hear all about it. If you purchased anything, if you have any of these items already, please let me know. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.